What would a Trump victory mean for the American economy? A few days ago, Swiss megabank UBS put out a research note asking what if Trump wins. This comes on the heels of a separate prediction from the former investment chief of Soros, fund management, saying a Trump win would make stock markets soar, which matters since stocks make up most of the retirement accounts of Americans. The context here, the reason all these characters are gaming out Trump is because Biden is running the worst third-year approval numbers in history, even worse than Jimmy Carter, who won five states. Meanwhile, Trump is running 20 points ahead on which candidate would better handle the economy and 30 points ahead on which candidate would better handle immigration and the border. So given these are overwhelmingly the top two issues for American voters, that is a pretty insurmountable pair of hurdles, at least when it comes to actual votes cast. Now, I've talked in recent videos about the border, so today I will focus on the economics. Kicking off with UBS, their main moving parts of the dollar, Federal Reserve interest rates, changes to trade relationships, especially with China, and stocks. I'll add the big one, which is inflation, namely federal spending, and ending Joe Biden's regulatory war, which threatens to wipe out entire industries from domestic energy to gig work like Uber. UBS notes that most institutional investors now think Trump will win, mirroring his 2016 result. Of course, that win set off an economic boom with stocks and jobs soaring and inflation under 2%, a Goldilocks scenario that lasted all the way through the COVID catastrophe. The question is, do we repeat that Trump miracle? UBS thinks we don't because we're in a later stage of the economic cycle. In other words, the recession is a lock. So they expect the dollar to weaken no matter who wins, and they expect interest rates and inflation to come down in response to that recession. Punctuated only by inflation and imported goods, especially from China, as Trump ramps up trade friction. Indeed, Trump has already floated 60% tariffs on Chinese goods, which would wipe many of them out. Note, 60% tariffs would also wipe out any American exporter who relies on Chinese goods, which is pretty much all of them at least until domestic or nearshored production replaces the Chinese. But that is all deck chairs on the Titanic compared to the recession itself. And there the question is, does a Trump victory head off recession? It's actually possible, but Trump would need to pass some major reforms, starting with extending his tax cuts, currently set to expire next year, followed by massive regulatory reform that would free up domestic energy, manufacturing, and small business. If he pulls that off while at least stopping the growth of federal spending, which drives inflation, then you could get enough real growth to take the edge off the coming recession or even cancel it altogether. Of course, all that would take a Washington miracle, a whole different Congress than Trump had last time when he was up against a unified front of rhinos and Democrats. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. Trump's rising not only in the polls, but also in the election betting odds, which captures some of the cheating. Even if he does win, though, he would need a Washington miracle to head off the next recession. Still, a Trump win could at least stop the economic rot. Things wouldn't necessarily get better overnight, but they could stop getting worse. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.